Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to learn how to map form data to the model. Here we have add employee form. This form is handled by employee controller and add action method. Here we have employee controller and add action method. Right now, we are binding form data to the action method parameters. Here we have string first name and last name. If you look at this view, here we have attribute name first name and we have attribute name whose value is last name we are using this attribute to map the value to this action method now i want to bind this form data to this employee view model first we should make sure that employee view model has the properties that match the form fields next we should update this add action method in employee controller to accept employee view model instead of these parameters i will say employee view model this is inside view models i will add the namespace and i will name it as model next we are going to update these form elements to use asp for tag helper to generate correct name attribute for these elements see here we have first name input box i will remove this name attribute instead i will use asp for tag helper and and i want to bind this to first name property this is our employee view model and here we have first name last name and other properties if you come to add.cshtml we are going to bind this input field to first name property i will say first name then we are going to bind this last name to last name property and here we have date of birth and we are going to bind this date of birth to date, to date of birth property. Same way you can bind rest of the fields. Now let's open employee controller. I'll put breakpoint here. Let's test whether we are able to bind form data to this employee view model. I'll run this application. I'll click on add employee. Here we have form. Now let's fill in the details. Now I will click on submit. See, here we have model. We, if I expand model, we have employee. If I expand employee, see, we have the values here. This way, we are successfully able to bind form data to employee view model. I have modified department controller and this add action method to receive department view model. Same way, I have updated our department form. Here, we are using ASP for tag helper and we are binding this to name field we are able to successfully bind form data to the employee view model. It is not good to save this data directly to the database. Before sending this data to the database, we should validate this data. In our next session, we are going to learn how to validate this form data. That's it for today's session. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.